Hello, favorite students. We're starting with level one, problem one. So this is the first problem on the chain rule marathon. And I'm showing you the new notation. So this is hopefully going to simplify things a little bit. We're just going to use f as the outside function and g as the inside function. And if you remember chain rule is the derivative, this chain rule right here, the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. So we're going to work through the chain rule problem using this simpler notation. So the problem from your paper is y equals x squared plus 5 to the third. So when I look at that, I see that the outside function is going to be g to the third. And the inside function is this x squared plus 5 inside because it's trapped in the parentheses. And I know that if I were to plug this back into g, I'd be left with my original problem. So I know that this works. I'm then going to take the derivative of f. It's the power rule. So I just multiply the 3 in the front. 3 times g squared. And then over here, I'm going to do the power rule again. 2 gets multiplied in the front and then subtracted. So it's just 2x. When we do the power rule, constants go away. We drop them, so I just have 2x. I'm then going to do the chain rule, where the derivative of the whole thing is equal to the derivative of the outside function, f prime, times the derivative of the inside function, g prime. That's going to leave me with 3g squared, which I pull from right here, times 2x, which I pull from right here. Then I'm just going to take my g and plug it back in to the equation. I get 3 x squared plus 5 squared times 2x. And then I'm going to multiply this together, and I get 6x times x squared plus 5 squared. So that is problem number one.